Okay, like, what? I don't understand, though. What is this? Like, what the hell is the rocket ship? Did he say he has a camera in the rocket ship? And if so, then what is this orrery for? You need to set it up on Max's desk. I do? Okay. Okay, let's set this up on Max's desk. Hmm. There's really no good angle that ensures we'll see everything. We'll have to just hope for the best. Okay, isn't the secret code entered in the elevator? So shouldn't... Like, what? How? Okay, let's do it. And here's the camera. Just put it on and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so the rocket has a camera in it and the rocket sits in the orrery somewhere? Maybe right there? Okay. Okay, it's set Got up. It. Now we just need Scorobius to enter. I need to finish doing everything in here first. Okay, do I call Scorobius? I'm going to call him up. What should I tell him? Sometimes Max has Scorobius pick up mail that he's left in the basement. Make him think you're one of Max's secretaries, asking him to do a pickup. Okay. Hello, Anthon Towers main office. Yes, hi. Mail delivery. I'm just letting you know some sensitive mail is being dropped off. Ah, oh, thank you. I've been waiting on this. Good day. Okay, done. We should go up to the loft and wait. Hey, this has been... I don't know... fun. What has? Making a plan, teaming up. Usually I just make things and move on, but we're actually putting them to use. I like this. I'm glad to hear it, Keith. Me too. That has to be him. God, I've been so wrapped up in projects, I've forgotten how fun this sort of thing is. Shh. Keith, keep it down. We're trying to be sneaky here. Oh, right. Hello? Anybody in there? No. All right, let's check the... Or, wait, what? I hope this works. What do we do now? Get the camera. You're able to plug it into the monitor on the desk. We can watch it there. Oh, okay, yeah, it has a little USB connection. I still don't understand, though, that... The secret room is accessed by the elevator, so wouldn't you enter the password in the elevator? So what am I going to see in here? I'm, I'm super confused, but I guess my question's about to be answered. Okay, so it fits in right here. How do I get this to turn on? Press the button. I did. I have to talk while you're holding it down. Press it again. See? It only turns on if it hears my voice or Max's voice. I'm going to put the orrery back upstairs. Play. What the hell? It's a little bit fucked up. Okay, everything is back to the way it was. Great. We hardly saw anything. Yes, but those sounds. I think that... Yeah, that must be it. I got it. You both need to get out. Get away from the desk. Get out. I need time alone. I need time to think. 
But Max, Cordelia and I were just about to... Keith, I don't care. I'm serious. Get out. Now! Maybe I could try to talk. No, I gotta leave. Can I... Do I have it back? Yeah, I have it back in my inventory. Alright, see ya, Max. Asshole. Look, Keith, he's under a lot of pressure. Something's been up with him lately. W what's wrong with giving him some space? You know how he is. You're defending him? Something's going on, Cordelia, and you won't even acknowledge it! I'm not going to have this talk right now, Keith. Don't make me pick sides. Right, because if you had to pick, we both know who you'd choose, don't we? Keith, no. I can't do this without you. I need that code. Erica, you might be my only hope at this point. God, Keith is so angry. I mean, I understand you'd be a bit pissed, but don't be pissed at me. Be pissed at Max. All right. How could Erica help me? Wait a minute, I can't even switch back. Hmm. I need to get this to Erica. I'm sure she can help me. How do I... Wait. If I'm in the past, do I just... Put it down, and then it'll be there in the future? Or... No. I'm still kind of confused. Is this time travel? Because it seems like I'm changing the past. And she's aware of Erica from the future. Which means... If she's aware of Erica from the future, then this has to be a different past than originally happened. Alright, well, I guess I'll just put it back in the orrery. 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 Okay, Erica. I know you can see me. I just hope you'll help me. I really need some help right now. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't keep carrying this. But I can't tell anyone. I can tell you, Dad. But she'll probably just hate me for it. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm failing. Just want you to talk to me again. Hey, Terrence just sent me a message. Let's hope he's got good news. Oh, so apparently she already sent the document to him? Okay. There we go. E, check it out. I couldn't do much with the document itself, but I managed to run a scan on the signature. Turns out that we had a match in the database. You'll understand it better than I will. This Grobius guy came forward with information on a Max Smith and got the FBI interested. All pretty standard, but then it gets interesting. I would not have found this if I hadn't been running an image match. This was super misfiled. The kind of misfiling you have to do on purpose. Erica, McAdams was in charge of this one. Okay. So Scorobius. And McAdams, as you can see at the beginning of this episode, they're obviously, you know, in bed together. Not literally, <laughs> but... Uh, Mick Adams obviously has a vested interest in keeping attention away from here. And it seems their relationship dates back all the way to at least this point. Hey, I found something attached to the same file as the document. It's an old interview of a Max Smith. The guy they were investigating. I thought it might be useful, so I'm sending it your way. 
Okay, um, where is it? Oh, I guess I don't have it yet? I don't have time for music right now. I normally listen to it when I'm going to bed. The camera's gone. Does she really think it would still be there after all this time? Hmm. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, it's... okay? The interview was sent to me, I just didn't realize it. Alright. Let's give it a listen. I don't understand why you won't let this go! There's nothing going on here! I have no idea who set me up here, but I promise you, you are wasting your time! Now, if you don't... Well, that ended abruptly. Where the hell's the rest of it? What is this? What the hell? This is a camera. Boss man's gonna want to see this. Oh shit. This just happened earlier tonight. I can feel it. John, what the hell are you up to? Alright, well Samuel McAdams obviously knows something about that. He might even be the one that has it, or maybe it's in the evidence truck outside. Let's go have a chat with McAdams. Agent, I'd advise you to finish here and leave. Soon. Yeah, well, I'd advise you to shut the fuck up. Because I think you're going to be in jail pretty soon. John's here. He's working with you on something. Now tell me what's going on. Nothing is going on here except for an investigation that isn't yours. And I've already told you, Agent McCoy isn't here. He left. You should think about following his example. He gave you something, a piece of evidence. Agent Reed, I don't know where you're getting this information from, but you should find some more reliable sources before it gets you into trouble. He has the camera. I know it. Director, I know John was in here. He gave something to you, and I need... Why can't you get it through your thick head? John was not in here. Do not bring it up again. If I accuse him of a cover-up, there's no going back, and he's gonna be pissed. I need to be 100% certain first. Definitely true. Alright, how do I prove John was here? Director, I know- Why can't you get it through your- Do I have anything? No, not yet. I'm going to take a look around some more. You're walking a very thin line, Agent. How do I... Wait a minute. Hello, security camera. Ah. That would show John being in here. Enthon Towers. Your security is our obsession. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Hmm. Alright, where do I go from here? I need to prove that John was here. Hmm. Well, I could, I could go talk to Scorobius about the new information that I have that confirms that his signature was on that document.
Okay, he's not here anymore. Hmm. Damn it, he left. Nope, still just a nice little ear sitting there. I think I'm just going to go back inside. Hmm. Not exactly sure where to go from here. I mean, I could try to call John, but he wasn't answering before, but I mean, hell, maybe he'll answer now. John! Oh, come on, John. Don't do this. Pick up. <sighs> Damn. Nope. Alright, what does it think I need to do? Just one thing. John was here, I think. Yeah. I need to get him to admit that John was here. I mean, there's a security camera, but I can't seem to get the images from it or anything like that, so that's out. Can I use an item on him? I can. I don't have anything that proves John was here on me, though. Does this interview sound at all familiar to you? Yes, that's Max Smith. Davies and I interviewed him. Look in the case files if you want to know more. All right, well, I've already done that. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. All right, hint time. Right, there's a file that tells me that Adams was involved in a cover-up here. That's right, um... But I don't seem to actually have it, right? Right, he came forward with information. Right. But... It... Where's the information? He says... There's something super misfiled, but where is it? This isn't it. Where the fuck is it? Think, Erica, think. Alright, definitely hint time. Is there some way you can prove that he's being untruthful? Well, no shit, that's a, that doesn't help me. Confront him with this information. Alright, that's no help at all. Well, security camera would be a pretty good proof, but... Can't do anything about that can't touch him. I could try again. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Didn't work the first time. Maybe it'll work now. Just let me have a nice what little... What the hell do you nope. think you're doing? Nothing. Go out the front door? I've been offered the... Nope. What the fuck? Right, well, I'm truly lost here because the hints don't help at all. They tell me things I already know. How do I prove he's being un untruthful? Is it possible the video is saved in the phone? Oh, it probably is! That's why I have the Max's interview! To use his voice! Yeah! It's not receiving the audio. Well, try playing it, then? I 
don't under Well, this is a fancy little gadget. Well, this is Do I plug it in? Those two don't work together. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, this is obviously what I'm supposed to do, because they established that this phone needs his or Max's vo uh, Keith or Max's voice to open. And I know the video is played on here, so it's probably saved, and I have a snippet of his voice, but... Those two don't work together. It's not receiving the audio. I, I don't understand what that means. It's not receiving the audio. What do you mean? I just played it. Why wouldn't it receive the audio? I have my own phone. Like, I know this is what I'm supposed to do, but I just don't understand how the game expects me to do it. I can't combine it with anything. Nope. I don't understand. Do I just need to let it play? I don't understand why you won't let this go. There's nothing going on here. I have no idea who set me up here, but I promise you, you are wasting your time. Now, if you don't... Well, this is a fancy little gadget. Nope. Oh. Okay. This is not going to work with this. Do I plug my phone into this? This is not going to work with this. I'm so fucking confused. Like, this is obviously what I'm supposed to do, but how do I do it? What she says makes no sense. It's not receiving the audio. It's not receiving the audio. I can hear it. He's playing from my phone, right? This is a file. It's not an actual physical object. It's playing from my phone. So just put the phone speaker up to the microphone and then it'll hear you. I mean, it's not complex. I have my own. This is not going to work with this. Do I set my phone down on the desk? This is not going to work with this. Think, Erica, think. Think, Erica, think. Well, this is a fancy... I, I don't get it. That won't work there. I don't get it. This is obviously what I'm supposed to do, but I can't do it. Why can't? Why can't I? I mean, it's not showing up here, though, as anything I directly need to do. Is there some way to prove that John was here? I don't... I don't see any way to progress. Look at that security camera. With all sorts of footage of John. Can I call Terrence and call someone to subpoena the footage or something? I don't know. Call everyone. I'd like to check up on Sully nope. and him, but I really need to stay focused. Dwelling on Sully is only going to make that harder. Gallagher won't be able to help me. No, 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 no. John? <sighs> Come on, John. Nope. Don't do this. Pick up. <sighs> Damn. Madison's dead. He's standing right next to me. I don't need to call him. I can just go talk to him in the lobby. Unless it's something really urgent, I'll just stick to texts. I don't need to call there right now. No, thank you. Okay. If I could find some way to touch... McAdams, that would help, but I can't seem to do that. So... I... 
I I'm flabbergasted. I'm totally stuck, and yet for some reason, I'm stuck at a point where you actually don't have that many things to do. I mean, back just a little ways, I had a shit ton of things to do. And I was confused about where to go, but I didn't get stuck there. But now I'm stuck on a part where there's barely anything I can even interact with. Like, I've done almost everything, and I feel like I'm really near the end, but I... I'm completely stuck. The hints don't help. I... I don't know. I don't have time for music right now. I normally listen to it when I'm going to bed. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. That's interesting. I can't actually type in my notes. Okay. Sure. That makes sense. Do I have something that could distract me? Here, I'll give him a flower. He'll appreciate a flower, right? That won't work there. Give him a nice little present. Oh, actually, wait, doesn't the lighter prove that he was here? Bingo! Okay. I was thinking about what you said before. You said John never came in here, right? Never was in the towers? Correct. Now would you stop harping on it? Sure, now that I know where things stand. See? I found John's lighter upstairs. So I know he was here, and I know you two are mixed up in something. Christ. Look, John was in here, yes, but I won't be talking about it. This wasn't meant to be any of your business. As I said, the situation is delicate. Okay, that didn't really get me all that much further. I guess I could try to accuse him. Do I really have enough, though? Agent. Uh. Okay, here goes. Here we go. Let's see if I can push him just a little bit over the edge. I found something interesting, Director. Maybe you can explain it to me? Now what? I found an old document upstairs. It seemed harmless enough, but I did some digging and found out that sure enough... This Jeftharian that nobody seems willing to talk about is mentioned. In an investigation you were heading up. Congratulations, Agent. You've discovered how to use the FBI database every agent in the office has access to. Interesting you'd say that, because I actually had to have a handwriting analysis run on the documents because these records weren't in the database. They were deliberately misfiled. And at the bottom, detailing who filed the reports as lead investigator, none other than Samuel McAdams. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but burying a case in order to protect yourself? You better stop right there, Holy agent. shit. Oh, and he's touching me. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. You fucking prick. Ooh, wonder what that memory is. Looks like a bloody knife. Let's look at this one first, though. Now we're getting somewhere. So he has it in his coat pocket. What do you have in there? Oh, is it? <gasps> Imagine that. Get off me! Get your damn hands off me! What the hell do you think you're doing? You've crossed the line, Agent. Leave this building now. And I'll see you in the morning. This isn't over. Oh, it is over for you. Let's go see what's on this thing. Okay, now this will work. I'm guessing now it'll receive the audio when it mysteriously didn't work before for no particular reason. Hmm. I'll need to get that glitchy video cleaned up. Hmm, okay, how would I go about doing that? 
call Terence. For once, my idea actually no worked. Answer. Or never. Wait, what? Can't talk right now. If there's something you want me to look at, just use your phone to send it my way. Oh, okay. Okay, Terence. I've got a corrupted video recording. But I'm sure you have something in your bag of tricks to help me out here, right? Wow, Terence got back to me already. He must be really pounding down the energy drinks tonight. He's definitely a fast typer. I took a look at this and I've sent you some stabilization and artifact removal software that should fix things right up. It looks like you've got a pretty bad angle here, so this software will also run a sound analysis that can pick out key presses. Attach the camera to your phone, the software should detect it, just hit go and it'll do the rest. Knock him dead, or alive, whatever it is that you do. And there goes Terence's software to the rescue. Alright, let's see what we've got. I could watch the video on here. If I could figure out how to turn this thing on. Oh, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's turning things on. It's not receiving the audio. If there's one thing I'm bad at, it's not turning things on. And there goes Terry. No, I've already done that. Like, can I look at it from my phone? Or... No? I don't understand why you... Okay, I'm holding down the button. Now what? Oh. Okay, see, this is a case where adventure games... This is a problem I run into, often in adventure games, and it's really not all that hard to fix. It, it's where you know you need to do something, and you know how to do it, but the game expects you to do it one way rather than allowing you to do the same thing a variety of ways. Like, apparently, and I didn't know this because I've the game had never established this, this in the past, clicking the button actually holds it down and then allows me free to use other items. So that's how they expect me to do it, but why not just make it so you can also just use the item on the button, and that does the same thing? I mean, it really wouldn't be that hard. And it would save a lot of frustration. So that's my minor game design critique. I don't understand what... There we go. Bada boom ding dang. What? <laughs> Been hanging around Terrence too much. No kidding. John? Oh. John was... in the basement? I don't know the code. But it should be somewhere on this video. Wait. Is he in the basement right now? Okay. I've attached the camera. Hello. There we go. That's how it's meant to play. Two six That's seven three it. nine. That's the code. But where do I enter it? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, but don't I access it by going to the elevator? So I don't understand. I entered the number here, and then I walk over to the elevator. Like what? I guess I'm about to find out. Time to find out what the Enthon Towers are hiding. Oh, it's a secret elevator in his office. Oh god. This feels like the end. I think this is the end. It's that. It's got that creepy music playing. 
Okay, what is Scorobius hiding down here? Okay, so like... Like what, did I just send that information to Cordelia in the past and now we're both, like, going... I, I don't know, my brain's hurting with the whole time thing. Like, I don't understand what's going on with the time. As far as time travel and stuff, what happened in the past and what's happening now. But anyway... This looks promising. It's locked. Damn. Well, looks like there's only one door I can go in. Is this where she finds Max? This, this is the place for my vision, the one where I, I just need to be careful. This is the place in her vision that she kept seeing where she dies. But the events you see in them can be changed, we've already established that, and hopefully I've changed enough to fix that? Really hoping so, I'm gonna save it right now. Oh great, there's blood around the hole. That's not a good sign. In my vision, going this way ends with me getting a bullet in the head. No, thank you. Yeah, probably a bad idea. Wait, message? There's a message there? There's something written on the wall, but it's too dark to read. Alright, um, use your phone? That won't work there. Well, I don't really have a flashlight, do I? No, no. Oh, lighter. There we go. Jeff Therian killed them both. Killed them both. Both who? So many people have died. What are... Who did he kill? I, I don't know. That name again. Oh God. What is that? It sounds like... Like Max! Yep, we're about to hit that part in the vision where I saw Max being shot. Max? God damn it! That sounded like John. And it came from back in the direction of the elevator. Yeah, so John is down here. John? These animations hey, that keep... It's unlocked. They keep playing. I wonder if I have, like... I wonder if there's branching paths down here. In terms of what Cordelia. will happen. Cordelia. Max, this... This is how it happens. Why, Max? I don't understand. <laughs> shh, shh. We are going to get out of here. Help me find a way out. We'll worry about the rest later. Okay. <gasps> Max! Cordelia, you need to stay calm. Breathe. Yes. We gotta hurry, Cordy. Oh God. <laughs> can, I, can I save it? I think I'm gonna save it here. 
Okay, so this is happening again. She does have the gun. Uh, Alright, someone's recording this. It's a digital camera. And that thing's getting fucking closer. I can't! My wrists are locked to the mounted gun! Um... There's a keypad. There are some buttons there. I think Max can reach them. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! Shit! Uh, so Max can reach the keypad, but I need to, like, free him, free myself. And is that thing getting closer? Because I really feel like it's getting closer. Okay, what's the number? Two, five, six. Two, five, six. Uh, okay, um... There are some buttons there. Max? Max, I need you to... Can you reach Max, it? can you reach those buttons? I th think so. Which one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, um, two? Do the second one. Five? Let's go with five. And six. The last one. Six. Okay, what, what did it do? What is that? The number two. Wait, two? What? It's a f uh, number one? What? The number one. What is that? Two and two and one? I, I don't understand. Oh. Okay. Two five, two five six. Wait, what? What? Uh, do one. Two uh, one. Another combination. Five six. One five six. One five six. Okay, what was number two? What the hell was that? Two, five, six. That's the one I already wrote down. Okay. Uh, new combination. Okay. Uh, one. Press number one. Five. Let's go with five. Uh, six. The last one. Six. Okay, okay, new one. Four. Another combination. Five, six. Is there four, a five, six. Here? Pattern of the title. Um. Oh, five, six. Five, yeah, they all end in five, six. They all end in five, six. Uh, I'm not sure how that helps me. Okay, new one. No. I will not use this gun. No, I don't want to use the gun. Four, five, six. Fourth one. Let's go with five. The last one. Six. Uh, that doesn't. That doesn't show me anything, does it? Shit. Uh, okay, so they all end in um five six. But then, what about the first number? Do I add them up? Do we add all of the first number up? That would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Nine, five, six? Wait, there's no nine? Oh. Uh, okay, I, I see a nine there, but apparently I can't enter it. <sighs> One, two, four. Okay, so uh, it's doubling? But no, then it would have to be eight. Um, it's going up by two? No, fuck. God damn it, what's the pattern? The last two numbers are always five, six. Um, it was... It was two, five, six, and then it was one, five, six, and then it was four, five, six. Fuck, I, I know he's just gonna get stabbed again in like a fucking second. Okay, so two, one, four. Two, one, four is the progression in the first number. Two, one, four. So it goes down one, and then it goes up three. Down one, up three, down one again. Maybe it's three, five, six? Three. Let's go with five. The last one. Oh, God. Six. What if it's a wrong number? What does that do? Don't tell me it, like, stabs him again or something. <gasps> it, it worked. It, it worked? There's a message back there, but something's blocking it. We have to find out what it says. 
Shit, what the fuck? Oh, oh god. Oh my oh, he's god, he's Max! <laughs> that thing is getting really fucking close. God damn it. It's a can. This must be what's blocking my view. Oh, uh, uh, aim towards it then. Oh god, I can't. Yes, you can. No, Max, this is the gun that- Listen to me. You are in control of the future, not your visions. You. Look at that fucking thing swinging right at my face. This is even more tense than the puzzle at the end of the last episode. Okay, shoot the can. Are you all right? Did I? I'm fine. Listen. Gordy, take a deep breath. Keep your eyes steady. Line up the can in the sights. You can do this. Okay. Aim right there. Yes. I Only... did it. All right. Only his... No time to... Oh, ah, fuck. Oh, no. no. I'm, I'm losing it, Cordelia. I'll get you out. Only his life will set you free. But then, wait, there's the number three. Only his life will set you free. I can shoot him. That must have been what she saw before, shooting him to set her free. I see it now. It says, only his life will set you free. What does that mean? Max, what does it mean? <sighs> Cordy, I want you to promise one thing. <gasps> Do not rest until he's put behind bars. We'll find him. But for now, we've got to get out of here. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, God. Well, only one of us can leave this place alive. And he wants that person to be you. Your vision is right, Gordon. You have to fire that gun before this machine kills you. What? You have to save yourself. No, Max! <laughs> Do it. Get out of here. <coughs> I can't take much more of this. Do it. We'll both die. <coughs> Shit. Already dead. It's just a matter of time. No! <laughs> Please. me? John, what the hell is going on? First you call me and tell me to stay put, then you disappear, only to run off and work for McAdams. What's with all the secrecy? You have some serious explaining to do. I do. Red, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, you mean you knew about this? You've known all this time, and you never said anything? Stop fucking around and talk to me! What do you know already? I know that Cordelia is our killer, the Oracle. And I know you knew her. Ah, she was a good girl. Yeah, I, I should have listened to her. Something was gonna happen to her brother. Did she kill him? No, but we blamed her for it. It was too obvious, Red. She comes to me saying her brother was gonna get killed. And when he turns up dead, what are we supposed to think? That she could really predict the future? It was only later that I realized... That her power was real? That people like her and me exist? I've seen weird shit, yes. But <laughs> Cordelia didn't defend herself. She admitted to having killed him. To this day, I'm still trying to find out why. 
Why did you leave me in the dark, John? We're partners. We're supposed to be working together. Almost three years after Cordelia was sent to jail, new evidence came up that proved she was innocent. Wasn't that clear from the report? There was some stuff that didn't match, of course, but you have to understand. She took the blame, and it was... It was easy. If this had gotten out, gotten to the press, they would have nailed us to the fucking wall with it. The whole department, especially after all the evidence, it didn't make sense. So, Top Brass just sealed it up all tight. Erica, please help me! The few of us that did know about it, we were told to keep quiet. And Cordelia agreed to it. She didn't want any press involved. She just wanted her life back. Didn't she try to help catch the real killer? No, she said she wouldn't take it to the press, or press charges, as long as we didn't involve her in a new investigation. Did you release her? Yep, and she changed. When we first put her in the joint, it was like someone just had turned her off. Didn't care what happened to herself, didn't try to defend. Shit, they had to feed her with a glucose drip, because she wouldn't eat. When she was released, it was like she was someone different. Like that whole part of her life was amputated, forgotten, boom. Catching the killer didn't matter to her at all. Because she had her own plans. She's not only offing the killers the same way they kill, she's killing agents that fail to follow her instructions, her little clues. And it's because I failed to save Max. Who is Jeff Therian? Not a clue, Red. I'll tell you what, though, I'd give up donuts to find out, though. It has something to do with Scorobius. You think it might be him? There's got to be an answer here. I tried to go over this stuff, but I, I could barely see anything in here. You mentioned Scott. Yeah. The day I released Cordelia, she told me about Scott. She said... She said you were about to lose him to the hands of a killer. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? I talked to Davies about it, but... Oh, Erica, our orders restrict the flow of inf... God damn it, John! You kept this from me? You let my brother die? I'm sorry, Eric. I tried to be aware. Fuck you, John. You made the same fucking mistake twice? Did you even try to... Identify yourself. Keith. My name is Keith Smith. Holy shit. What happened? Did Cordelia do this to you? I don't. I don't know. I don't want to be here anymore. He's in pretty bad shape. He, he needs a hospital. Take him. And get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Eric. Really am. Just go. My mind's still reeling from everything that just happened. That's a lot of information to take in. I. I feel like almost everything is in front of me, but I'm, I'm not putting it together in my mind. Okay, so Keith Smith has been kept here. He's been missing. He's been here the whole time. Being tortured? Obviously not by Cordelia. She wouldn't do that. But like, who's... It looks like the Kane killer was chasing Cordelia in that vision I saw just a minute ago. I don't know, I think everything's probably going to come together. Or at least a lot of things will come together. There is a fourth episode after all, so I'm sure not everything's going to be answered here. But I guess I'll just keep going. Alright, let me make a save. Still trying to process this all. Alright, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I had a bit of a think while I was going to the bathroom. So here's my... Here's my current 
general interpretation of what's going on. And I'm sure it's going to be wrong in some ways, but hopefully I've got at least most of it right. Alright, so Cordelia Smith is the main thread that's been running through all of the cases that I've been solving. Okay, the first one, the hangman. Um, Anthony Longmore. He was a killer. And because Cordelia Smith has the powers of what is it called precognition, she can see the future. Um, she knew about him, and she knew that he was a killer because she like brushed against him and saw what he would do. So she knew what he was, and that's why. Okay, and she also brushed up against Joey Gothals, the guy who cut out people's tongues and eyes and everything, and ears. So that's how she knew about him. And the reason... Okay, so somebody... Presumably Scorobius? Or someone connected with Scorobius is the one that ended up getting her brother killed. Right? Someone, when she went to the basement, strapped both of them, you know, together and then had her kill her brother. And ever since then, ever, then, ever since she's been released, uh, she's somehow she knows about my ability abilities and what I can do and she's been laying out these breadcrumbs and helping me catch these killers but making me work for it because she wants me to develop my abilities maybe and she wants me to become more powerful so that ultimately I can help her save her brother like back in time like I don't understand if time travel is really part of this but it seems like I'm going into the past and changing what happened in which case, maybe her ultimate goal was to develop my powers enough and make me aware of what happened so that I can go back and stop her from... save her brother, maybe? That definitely leaves some things unanswered, though. Like, what the hell was Keith doing in here? And... Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're about to find out, I think. At least some of those answers. Okay, so what is this? It's like a... Lots and lots of... Lots and lots of dusty bookshelves. Equal parts books and dust. <laughs> Nothing's grabbing my attention. Alright, so what the hell is John looking at here? There's gotta be something here. There are some papers here. Some titles for Jeff Therian. They say he's got several million dollars. Look at this! It's the Smith's will! The money was to be divided among the three siblings, signed by their parents. Wait, there's another one. This one is signed by Scorobius as the family lawyer. What? The money was left entirely to Keith. This must be why Max was so pissed at Scorobius. But why would he go through all that trouble? Wait, so Scorobius was pissed? He hated Max and Cordelia so much that he wanted to leave all the money to Keith? But then, what, what the hell is Keith doing down here? I mean, is he so greedy that he, what, kept him alive but hidden? So that he would be considered, like, missing and dead, and then maybe his money would go to... Scorobius or something? Like, nah, I don't know. That doesn't... I don't think so. I mean... Nah. Two Smith family wills. But only one of them can be the real one. Right? The money was left entirely to Keith. Scorobius forged this. But why go through all that trouble? Wait, what's this? Jeff Therian is... Holy shit! He's Corobius' son! Shit! Oh look, there's a little note here. Where the hell did this come from? So Jeff Therian is Corobius' son. 
does his son have a penchant for serial killing? Oh, what do you know? Jeff Therrien is a cane killer. Wait, Erica, Jeff Therrien is a cane killer? Who is the cane killer? What? A note addressed to me? I've got a bad feeling about this. Did Scorobius know about... Assuming Jeff Therrien is a serial killer, which seems pretty damn likely at this point. Maybe Scorobius knew that and had him deal with his little problem with Max and Cordelia? I'll take the note. There's a key attached to it. Jeff Therrien is the cane killer. Who is the cane killer? Yeah, that's what I want to know myself. Okay, it says he is the cane killer, and then it says who is the cane killer. Alright, what is this key to? Must be the key to the Le Pondu. The Le Pondu? What Le Pondu? Is there one someone somewhere in here? What was Keith doing over here in the dark? Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm so sorry, Keith. He was forced to live down here. And there's the Le Pondu. I need a key to open it. There we go. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Another one of these things. Hey, at least one of his feet isn't all weird and inverted. Okay, is that, wait, is that missing? It's missing one. Okay, well I guess the question on the note, who's the cane killer, is just telling me that's, this is where I need to use it. So, let me see how many's here. Two, three, four, five. All right, so it's gotta be five letters long, and what was on the note again? Jeff? Th wait, Jeff. But that's only four. Jeff Therian is the cane killer. Who is the cane killer? Yeah, that's what I wanna know myself. But... Neither Jeff nor Therian is five characters long. Two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm a bit stumped here. All right, what else is here? Keith made all the antiques and devices for her. He must have refused to help her, so she forced him. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Keith was all... Keith looked... Burned. I burned the cane killer, and Keith is five characters long. K E I T H. Is Keith the cane killer? He worked on projects for her. <sighs> this is probably all he could do to stay sane down here. If he is still sane. Is Keith the one that forced him... forced her to... kill Max? Is Corobius just a red herring? 
Okay, here we go again. Well, do we have a K? We have a K. It's a... K it's K-E-I-T-H, right? I think I just said it, but then I, now I forgot it. Yeah. I didn't even pick up on that. He was burned. Horribly burned. And there's a T. Yep. It's, I think we know what's coming. This is definitely right. Yep. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my god. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therrien. Why is it on Keith's plane release? This is all weird stuff. Every case you worked on, hope it had something to do with Scott's job. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? It's that same look in his eyes that was there when Mom and Dad died. Erica, please help me! Ugh. Do it. Oh god, not back to this. No. No! No! No. Fuck. Ah. I mean, he's been stabbed so many fucking times, it really looks like he's going to die very soon, no matter what I do, just from blood loss or massive organ damage. But god damn it, is there something I can fucking do? Why does that keep disappearing? I guess I can't do that. Shoot anything but him. I have to, don't I? Fuck. I think I have to. God damn it. The blade is getting awfully close to my fucking face. Okay. God damn it, I'm sorry, Max.
Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. God damn it, that's the end of the episode. Oh boy. Alright, well. <laughs> that definitely answered a lot of questions, but it raised a shit ton more. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't, obviously they couldn't reveal everything, because there's one more episode left. Um... I, d I don't even know where to start. I... I feel like... Like I've said before, I feel like there's a lot here that I can put together and I just... I'm not putting it together in my mind for some reason. But maybe not, because there is another episode, so obviously they've withheld quite a bit. But still, there's the answer to a lot of questions. Keith is the cane killer. Cordelia is the thread running through all of this. And a bunch more. Uh, and yeah, it appears we did change what was going to happen in the future instead of... Instead of, um... Instead of Erica being shot. It was John. Like... Well, it depends how you interpret that ending, right? I mean, either the future was changed and it wasn't actually someone tr coming to kill me. It was John instead. And she mistakenly killed him. Or it was John that was coming behind her and coming to kill her? I don't think so. No, John John isn't a bad guy. I'm pretty sure he just accidentally shot her. Because at that point, her vision of what would come to pass would not come to pass. It changed. But it looks like... Erica helping Cordelia save Max is not something she's aiming for, which... I'm still confused about this whole... I keep talking about time travel. I don't think time travel is actually really part of the game, but here's what makes me confused about that. I'm connecting with Cordelia in the past and giving her information from the future, so isn't that a form of time travel? I don't, I really don't understand. That confuses the hell out of me. That is time travel. I'm giving Cordelia of the past information from the future. Unless I'm misinterpreting something. So that's why I kept getting confused about that, but it looks like that's not what she was trying to do, so... That still raises, I still don't understand... Um, Cordelia's motive, exactly. She was, again, she was setting all of this up for someone to find. And she even went so far as to kill investigators that she thought were incompetent. And... Cordelia wanted me... here. Is, is her motive simply that she wants me... like, after being forced to kill her brother? Now she absolutely hates killers and, I guess, incompetent investigators and simply wants them to be caught. So she was, you know, both, like, killing two birds with one stone. She was laying these breadcrumbs and prevent, uh, presenting me with evidence to use to catch these killers and at the same time having me develop my powers so that I could finally end up at the Enthon Towers and uncover what had happened there? Like, is she trying to, like, burn everyone that had anything to do with what happened to Max? You know, all these bad people, Scorobius, her son, uh, his son, Keith, who was apparently the Kane killer? And, and, like, I'm not, I'm still not sure. And if he's the Kane killer, then what the fuck was he doing in the basement, like, chained up? Is, did she know that and was keeping him as a pet? Or something? Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I feel like I have more questions than answers, but I certainly did get a lot of answers. I don't know, maybe I can find, like, a... Some other people's interpretations of what happened. Because I feel like I'm missing some things. And I typically do. There's usually a bunch I miss, I miss in complex stories. So, yeah, this is... I mean, this, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure you noticed this episode definitely had some... Some issues with puzzles that were just kind of weird. Didn't really make any sense. You know, it's, it's got some typical adventure games pro problems. But still, the story is just ramping up more and more each episode. And it's just getting better and better. I freaking love this series. The voice acting is so good, especially for the main character. Whoever, I don't even know who voice acted Erica Reed, but she did an extraordinary job. And Cordelia, too. Very good. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting to say a bunch of things, and I think the credits are about to end. Oh, yeah. So, this is the last episode that's been released so far. So, I don't know when episode 4 is coming out, but when it is, you can bet I'm going to be playing it right at release. And I think there's going to be a preview for episode 4 right now, so let's listen. Kane's lair. He planned it all here. I think that's it. <laughs> yep, that is it. And by clicking that, it just all tabbed out of the game and opened up their main website. So the video has now gone black. But you can still hear the music. Or actually, wait, no, you can't. Never mind. Okay. So, that's the end of episode three. Coming up soon, whenever it comes out. Episode four, I'm definitely going to be playing that as soon as it comes out. Extremely looking forward to it. And this is one of the best adventure game series I've ever played. So I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Cognition, Episode 3, The Oracle. Goodbye.